Gazans held an art exhibition featuring works made by Palestinian prisoners who are being held inside Israeli jails. A group of performers also acted out scenes of Israeli methods of maltreating prisoners in settings made to look like those of Israeli jails. My son has been in Israeli jails for 26 years and I wasn't allowed to visit him. I don't know anything about his fate. We, the families of prisoners, hope that one day our children will be freed from their misery. Nearly 11,000 Palestinians, including many women and children, are imprisoned in Israel. After negotiations with Hamas to free abducted Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit broke down, Israel decided to reduce family visits for Hamas members to legal minimums and deny them prison benefits as radio and television rights, as well as opportunities to study while imprisoned. Families of prisoners say that Israel prevents them from visiting their loved ones. Hamas, whose military wing, along with two other Palestinian factions, captured Israeli soldier Gerard Shalit in 2006, says that Israeli attempts to humiliate Palestinian prisoners will not change its position over any prisoner exchange deal. All these actions of Israelis aimed at humiliating our prisoners, either by torturing them or deporting them, will not force the captors of Gilad Shalit to change their stance. These attempts will only make the captors of Shalit more determined to free all Palestinian prisoners. According to human rights groups, Palestinian prisoners are kept in terrible conditions and many of them suffer from chronic diseases. Mothers who want to be reunited with their children say that captive Israeli soldier Gerard Shalit should not be released unless all Palestinian prisoners are freed. The captors of Gilad Shalit must not release him until all Palestinian prisoners are freed. The Israeli prisoner is not better than our 11,000 prisoners. They must free all of our prisoners before their soldier is released. Prisoners' families have been holding such activities for many years in the hope that one day their beloved ones will be released. Palestinians say they hold such activities to document the suffering of those being held in detention. Around 11,000 Palestinians are now in Israeli jails. Ashaf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.